If somebody told you they had their own personal trainer, would you think he or she had a lot of money or maybe was too lazy to exercise on their own or maybe in really good shape? B would be me. B would be me. But more at the correct answer these days is not C. In tonight's Focus 4, Catherine Bliss takes a look at personal trainers, what they do to the body, the mind, and the wallet. shake and shape the bodies, the very heart and soul of Greg Justice, personal trainer to some of Kansas City's most physically fit and financially sound. At $45 an hour, some clients spend hundreds of dollars a month to build muscle and lose fat. But Justice says it's a price tag many are willing to pay. Form looks good, Rick. Form looks good. And I uh, saw that there was a lot of need for one-on-one -on -one training. In other words, if you would help someone do something correctly, um, you'd walk away from them and look back and within seconds, they're, all, they're already doing it incorrectly. And so I saw a niche that needed to be filled in the Kansas City area. Eight years later, and three studios of his own, this personal trainer has filled that niche for some 150 clients like Kathy and Rick O'Neill. I come in here, I challenge Greg to push me. And that is something that a trainer can provide. I love it. Justice has five full-time trainers on staff, all equipped with college degrees in exercise physiology. I think, you know, education would be number one. Know that the trainers are uh, quality people knowing what they're doing in the field of exercise science. And that's one of the first qualifications to look for, according to the International Association of Fitness Professionals, or IDEA, which certifies many personal trainers. Other than education, find out if the trainer knows CPR, ask for references, is he or she insured, are they certified by IDEA or by the American College of Sports Medicine, what's the cancellation policy, and finally, are they within your budget? How are you feeling? Bruce DeFriends is one of three personal trainers now on staff at the Johnson County YMCA, the only Y currently in the Kansas City area to offer such a program. I look at it giving them a better opportunity to reach their goals than they would probably on their own. And at less than $9 an hour, this personal training is time and money well spent for Y members like Amy Craner. I've become disenchanted with the weight loss industry and pretty convinced that after reading a lot, this is the way to lose fat and gain muscle. Amy is one of the first members to sign up for the Y's personal training sessions. The program's less than two months old, but already she says she feels a world of difference. I'm living up to my own expectations, and it feels really good to, to do this every day and to know I've done something good. It's good. Excellent job. Yeah. Catherine Bliss, News Channel 4. Now we checked a number of area health clubs, and most, if not all, have some kind of personal trainer program for members and at varying prices. Gold's Gym offers all its members free sessions with personal trainers, and many clubs like Bally's, Overland Park Fitness, and Woodside charge less the more you buy. Georgetown Athletic Club charges a flat rate of $15 an hour to its members. Well, it looks like it still hurts, but the thing I like is that the trainer really edges you on. Mm -hmm. Gives yeah. you a lot of motivation. And I think earlier I said that in all likelihood it would be not that you're in good shape. Of course, I meant to say in the introduction, it would be that you're in good shape. Mm -hmm. Casting no aspersions on the personal trainers, they do a good job. It looks like you would get in good shape yeah, anyway. Yeah, absolutely.